Okay, everybody, it's me, Gregory Manorino. Post-market wrap-up on this lovely, I might even start laughing, this lovely uh, Tuesday, October 6, 2020. People, you and me need to talk a little bit, and that's exactly what we're going to do here. Um, where to start? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> where to start? How about this? How about this. I'm really not sure where to start. Okay. The big story here, about an hour ago, right now, the closing bell went off 30 seconds ago, about an hour ago, stock market doing great, rally mode, you know, looking really good. All of a sudden, uh, let me just explain this to you. So I'm sitting here, I'm looking at my trading screen, I'm looking at my positions, and quite honestly, I was happy. Things are looking good. I'm like, oh yeah, oh yeah. Then, then I'm looking at it and I'm like, what just happened? Bam, 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 down, 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 down. I mean, I'm like going, what is going on? Did like a terrorist attack occur? Did a nuke go off somewhere? What just happened? I mean, I literally tweeted and posted on my social networks. What is that? No one knew. No one knew, but the market knew. And the market was just selling off hardcore. Okay. First thing that goes through my head is... I don't care what's causing the problem. I'm like, okay, Greg, buy the dip. Boom, what do I do? Buy the dip across the board. Okay, now I'm trying to figure out what's going on. So it turns out that uh, President Trump has called off stimulus talks with the Democrats until after the election. Okay, market didn't like to hear that. Uh, airline stocks plunged, and immediately after that, the airlines say mass layoffs. They're beginning them right now. Another wave of mass layoffs. Uh, my phone starts blowing up, blowing up. Uh, and I'm like, oh my God, what's going on? So, um, yeah, so it's kind of interesting. I wonder if there's such a thing as COVID encephalopathy, you know, like COVID affecting the brain here. Now, I know a lot of people are going to say, okay, this is the president his ploy to try to get the, the American people a stimulus deal. Hell of a way to do it, though. Let me say that. Uh, we have an economy in free fall, although, did you see the president's tweet earlier? <laughs> Fake news. They're not talking about how the American economy is so strong, nor are they talking about how the stock market keeps going up. I really think that COVID, it's possible. I mean, it really is affected the brain, if he ever had it. I mean, you know, whatever, Okay. Uh, so if this is indeed a ploy for the, we're going to get a real good stimulus deal, you know, kind of like the China trade deal that I was told repeatedly, oh, Greg, you don't know what you're talking about. This is a tactic because the president plays 5D chess. We're going to beat China. How's that working out for you? Real good? Yeah, it does seem like that, doesn't it? Look, um, the bottom line is if the president really... Uh, is using this as a ploy. He's going to have to reverse himself, and he's just going to look stupid-er. That's the truth here. Uh, there are other ways to handle this. We are in an economic freefall. We have people that are actually hurting, not like him. He's a billionaire. Well, actually, we don't know what he is. We haven't seen his tax returns, although we, we know he pays no taxes. I don't blame him for not paying any taxes. Again, take advantage of the tax code. Okay, that's how we make America great again. So anyway, that's really the story here. Uh, stocks were volatile prior to the announcement uh, from the president. We were going up again an hour before. It was beautiful. It was just lovely. But it got more lovely. And I'm going to explain to you why it's even more lovely. Okay, so the president makes this announcement. Stocks crater. Okay, beautiful. I bought that dip hardcore more than once. I bought, 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 bought. A lot of Benjamin Franklin's here at work. Yeah, I got a lot of Benjamin Franklin's here. Uh, so w why would Greg do such a thing? Because look, I understand that no matter what, this market is going to bounce. The Fed's going to buy it all, period. We already understand that. They're buying corporate debt. They're buying every kind of debt. They're going to buy the market. The Fed has a trading desk. So with that advanced knowledge, okay, there's a little inside information for you. Uh, I went in here and I bought. And if the market falls again tomorrow, I will buy more. How is that? My options, all of them, don't expire till June of next year. 
I'm sitting pretty. That's why I can laugh like at the beginning of this video. Oh, I can laugh. I can laugh my rear end off. And that's exactly what I am doing. I think personally, uh, we have a very incompetent man uh, right now sitting in the White House. I know a lot of you didn't get triggered by this. But again, uh, it's not the same guy that campaigned uh, last time. It's not the same guy who I voted for uh, last time. I, and I'll tell you something else. I'm going to let you in on a bigger secret. Hillary Clinton uh, probably at the time was the biggest liar I ever heard of in my life. That's one of the reasons why, in fact, the reason why I did not vote for her last time. President Trump is now, uh, he's running a close second. In fact, I think they're neck and neck for lies, especially with that tweet today. Economy is so strong. Mainstream media, fake news. They're not talking about it. What is this? Is this, is this, I don't know. I heard he snorts Adderall. Is that true? Maybe that's playing with his brain. Maybe it's COVID encephalitis, one type or the other. But, you know, it, it, it's too, it's too insane. What we're seeing right now makes no sense to me at all. Uh, again, unless, of course, the real plan is to destroy the middle class. Uh, and, well, that would play out just perfectly, wouldn't it right now? Of course. But look, the bottom line is more than likely the president will reverse himself. Uh, I, I don't think he's got the guts to not reverse himself prior to the election. He won't. He doesn't have the guts. He's going to see the market fall. He's going to see all the screams from this side of the aisle and that side of the aisle do something. And he will fold. He folds all the time. The president does not know how to stick to his guns. No, even if he tells a lie. Sometimes he can't stick to his guns. I'll prove that to you as well. During the debate with Hillary, one of the last debates with Hillary, uh, he said he was smart for not paying taxes. I have to agree with him on that. But then he reversed himself with the debate with Biden. Pays millions. Stick to your guns, Mr. President. We all know you don't pay any taxes, and I applaud you for that. I really, really do. So don't reverse yourself this time. Don't worry, Mr. President. The Federal Reserve will take up the slack. They'll buy the market. I'm not worried about it. Really, no one should be worried about it. Look at the 10-year yield. Let's talk about the yield curve. Have we all noticed, people, that the yield curve has steepened lately and the stock market's been rising? Why do you think that is? Should be a no-brainer. Again, the market is still pricing in a Biden win. I think personally... Trump lost the election today by that asinine announcement, true or not, and he will reverse himself. I, if President Trump does not reverse himself, I'll eat, I'll eat a piece of paper and I'll swallow it right here, okay? He will reverse himself before the election, okay? Maybe I'm wrong. I'll eat a piece of paper. I guess it won't kill me. Um, but, you know, the, the man, again, he's the king of folding. He's a folding chair, and he will not stick to his guns, period, the end. He never does. So um, what does this mean for other things? Let's talk about the rest of this market. Okay, silver got hammered today. Hammered, down, fell over 4%. Uh, gold got hit today. Cryptos got hit today. 10-year yield, 0.75. It was 0.78 prior to the president's uh, asinine announcement or threat or, or ploy. I know a lot of you think this is a ploy because he plays 5D chess. Duh. Maybe he plays with 5D chests. Yeah. Whatever that may be. Anyway, um, dollar did reverse as well after President Trump made that lovely announcement. And I'm sure he got the desired effect from the market. I'd be willing to bet President Trump let some of his buddies know, hey, I'm going to make a big announcement in a little bit. Buy some puts on the S&P 500. We're going to rip the face off of this market. And then, of course, when he decides to reverse himself, uh, he's going to tell his friends to buy calls. Maybe he's buying calls. I don't know. I have no idea. Wouldn't doubt it. I wouldn't put it past anybody, at least especially this guy. Um, and I think, you know, if this is real, let's, let's you and I for a moment. If this is real and the president realizes that he's actually losing the, he's lost the election as far as I'm concerned as of right now. Um, and he maybe wants to bring down the country with it because he couldn't succeed to make America great again. No. All we did was balloon the debt balloon the debt for which he said we would this with something we would not do during the last election and we were going to do something about the federal reserve we were going to stop them from issuing all this debt duh that didn't work out too well either now did it 
And that China trade deal, tremendous, fantastic. No, it's not going so well. It's great again. No, it's not going so good. I love the guy. We're in love. No, maybe not today. Uh, I mean, is this uh, maybe, you know, schizophrenia? Um, crack? I don't know. Adderall sniffing? I don't know. Can you do that? I have no idea. But something's wrong. Something very wrong here. Maybe, like I said, COVID encephalitis. You let me know because I know a lot of people are going to get very triggered by this video. And I frankly don't care. You can unsubscribe. It's really easy. Do it. Do it now. Anyway, look, uh, bottom line is, in my view, this market uh, is going to rebound from this. Give it time. Give it time. President more than likely is going to reverse this. Stocks will rip higher. And I wouldn't be surprised if it happens in short order, but we'll see. Either way, I'm not worried at all. Zero. Uh, I don't think this is anything major to worry about. I'll let you know, um, but I, I don't see it right now. And if it is, beautiful. I will love that too, because you know what I will do? I will start betting against this market with all my other Benjamin Franklins I got laying around. Oh, yeah. Can't lose. And I will continue to bet against the debt. Continue to become my own central bank. Continue. I'm choking over here. Continue. I'm getting all excited to buy cryptocurrencies. Yay! Winning! That's what it's all about. All right, people, look, I'm having too much fun here. As you can, as you can see. And um, I'm going to get going. And we'll, we will reconvene here tomorrow, those of you that decide to stick around. And um, we're going to have more fun tomorrow. I'm just love. Are you not loving this? This is drama, okay? This is drama. This is better than any sitcom you want to look at. Better than any TV show or movie or whatever. Comedy act, clown show, circus. I mean, this is, this, there's nothing that tops this. Nothing. Nothing at all. Anyway, this guy here loves you a lot. Please share the video. And I'll see most of you, I would assume, tomorrow. I'm out of here. <laughs>